Synthesia AI is an online AI video creator that anyone can use to get their videos done. From AI characters doing the work for you to automatically translating those videos to over 70 plus languages. In this complete step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create full videos with AI characters up on the screen so that you never have to appear on camera yourself. How to then customize that character to make it do whatever you want it to do, such as nod, raise the eyebrows, and many more things. Then once you've got those characters in place, how to go from either website, PDF, document, or idea to complete video with AI technology. And then finally, once all of that is done, how you can translate that video into any other language you want so that you can put out content on many different markets. All right, so we're on Synthesia. To get started, you wanna click on new video in the top right corner. Once you do that, you've got a few different options to get going with your video. One of which is to start from blank. You can use the AI video assistant, which is brand new. You can use this to convert a web link into a video. You can convert a document such as a PDF, Word or TXT file into a video, or you can go from an idea to complete video, which is my favorite feature that I'll be covering later on in the video as well. The final option is to go from a PowerPoint to a video. On top of all of that, they have got many different video templates available as well. If I just scroll through them, you can see that there's pretty much anything you'd like. We've got a company presentation format. We've got a instruction format. We've got a medical presentation, office setting. We've got a quiz format, which is pretty cool because there are channels like this that do quiz videos that get close to a million views a month. So it's good to see that they've got templates available for any kind of video format that you might wanna use. So there's a lot to do here. I wanna get started by using the AI video generator. This will let you make a full video, including a script, a character on the screen, video footage, presentations, and even more, all in one video builder. If you wanna follow along the process, I will leave a link in the description down below that allows you to get started to make a free AI video in over 120 plus languages. To do that, I'm gonna click on AI video assistant. And then from here, first of all, I'm gonna choose the template, which you can do by clicking on here. And then all of these templates show up. Now don't worry, later on, you can customize these as well. For this video, I'm gonna go with the content marketing format, which once you select a template, you can actually see what it looks like from here. Then then click use template in order to start using it. And then next up, you wanna choose whether you wanna go with a web link, document, or idea to video. So with a web link, you can convert any article, any web page into a full video. With a document, you can upload it and convert that into a video. So it will analyze the text that's in the document and then convert that into a video. But I wanna go from idea to video. Step number one when doing this is describing the idea you wanna make a video about. Since I'm currently in Dubai, as you can see on the background, I wanna make a video about how Dubai was built so quickly. Because all of these towers that you see in the background were built within record time. Next up, you wanna choose how many scenes you want in your video, which basically dictates how long your video will turn out to be. For this video, I will go with eight scenes. Then you can use these five filters to decide how your video will turn out starting off with the objective. So this is where you can tell the AI what your video should achieve. And based on that, it will write the script and generate the video accordingly. For me, I wanna show the viewer how Dubai made it possible to build the city so quickly compared to other countries. Then I can choose the audience. That can be literally anything you want. For me, I wanna to appeal to a white audience so that I can get a lot of views. So by saying 20 to 60 year olds, I target a large demographic. Then you can choose the language. I'm gonna to stick to English here. However, just so you know, if I scroll through pretty much any language you want, they've got it available. Then we've got the speaker, for example, a financial advisor with 20 years experience. Since mine is about building the city so quickly, I'm just gonna put in a construction expert. And then finally the tone, I'm gonna go with professional. We're now done. I'm gonna click on generate video and it's gonna start off by generating the script for me. Depending on your video topic, this might take a few minutes. So you wanna let it go and see what it then comes up with. Now, so far what I like is that you can go from an idea to a complete video, but also have an impact on how the video turns out. It is not just make a video about this. You can tell it who to create it for, the objective, the speaker as well as the tone so that your video comes out just the way you'd like. And here we go, the video is now done. Now, before you click on continue and editor, you wanna go over the script to see if it fits the narrative that you'd like. If you don't like it, you can always click on generate again and then it will give it another try. 
But if the video is like you want it to be, you can click on continue in editor, and this will then send us over to the Synthesia editor. Now, before I show you how you can fully customize the video, first of all, let me explain how the editor works. Starting off with the scenes on the left-hand side, this is kind of like a PowerPoint presentation. So all of these are different scenes that combined make up for your video. So each scene is a different part of the script, as well as different footage, as well as a different template, which means that the way everything shows up is different per scene. For example, here we've got text on the left hand side and a character on the right hand side, whereas here there's no text and it's just a guy in the middle. And here the text is on the right hand side. So those are these scenes that together make up for your video. Then we've got the main editing bar, which is on the top of the screen. Starting off with the avatar, which is where we can change the avatar to so the person up on the screen in case we'd like. Then we've got space, which is what we can use to change the background in our video. Then we can edit with text up on the screen as well as shapes, as well as our own media, as well as even record in a PowerPoint presentation style from my actual device. And then we've got the editing menu on the right hand side here. All right, I now wanna edit my video. To get started, first of all, I'm gonna change the avatar on the screen. Instead of this guy, what I'm gonna do is first of all, click on him to select him. Then on the right hand side, I can click on replace avatar. And then I'm gonna choose a avatar that fits better for this video. And I'm gonna go with Natalie right here. In order to change them, all you need to do is click on it. And then as you can see, the avatar is now changed. So this is drag and drop editing, making it perfect for any beginner that wants to get into video creation. On top of that, what I can also do is decide whether I want Natalie to show up fully or in a circle somewhere in the corner of the screen. For example, the bottom right corner, but I can then also take her and drag it into the bottom left corner or top left or top right. You get the point. Anywhere on screen you want her to be, you can simply select it and put her there. However, I like the full body in the first light, so I'm gonna stick to this. Then what I wanna do for the first scene, I wanna change the background. So I'm gonna go to space and I want like the office kind of vibe. So I'm gonna click on office right here. And then I'm gonna click on this image right here. And as you can see, the background has now changed. Now, to be honest, the contrast with the text right now is not the best. So instead, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with this picture right here. And then on top of that, I'm gonna select this. And then on the right hand side, I can choose the opacity for that layer, which in this case is the background. I'm gonna drag this a little bit lower to about 60, 70%. And then as you can see, the text comes out much better. And you can edit like this with any element in your video. Now that is done, I wanna change the voiceover. In order to do that, I can click right here on Natalie. And then first of all, preview what she sounds like. Imagine stepping into a city where just a few decades ago, vast desserts stretched as far as the eye could see. All right, that is what Natalie sounds like. Pretty decent. Now, because I chose Natalie as my AI character, I cannot choose the voiceover that belongs to that. However, I can change the tone in which she speaks. So as of right now, it's selected as smart, but I can also go to bright, chat, clear, commercial, and the list goes on and on. For example, if I were to go with natural, all you wanna do is select that and then it will change. Now, once again, to preview that, you can click on any of the play icons right there. Imagine stepping into a city were just a few decades ago. As you can see, the tone is now changed. So you can go through the list and see which one fits the best for the video that you're making. Imagine stepping into a city where just a few decades ago. So I actually like professional, so I'm gonna go with that and finalize it there. So all of that is now done. I can now see the script for the first scene right here. So everything here looks good. I'm gonna move on to scene number two. For scene number two, what I wanna do is insert video footage into the background. What I can do is on the right hand side, see background media. First of all, make sure it's enabled and then click replace. What Synthesia allows you to do is choose from stock footage from a company called Shutterstock, which is one of the largest stock footage platforms in the world. You can search for videos or images, which I'm gonna search for a video from Dubai. So I'm gonna search for Dubai and then all of these clips show up right here. Since this clip is about oil, what I'm gonna do is search for Dubai oil and then see if any clips show up, which in fact, we've got this oil well right here. So I can choose something like that or it can go back and choose something that would fit the Dubai image a bit more, which this clip right here definitely does. So I'm gonna select this. And as you can see, this is now moved into the background. However, we got the same problem as last time because the contrast between the background and the text isn't great. So I'm gonna change the opacity, set it a bit lower, and that way it looks much better. This is what that then currently looks like. Now the AI character in the preview doesn't work, so keep in mind that when you generate it for real, the AI character will actually start speaking and the lips are synced with the script. 
Then moving on to scene number three, let's say that I don't like the layout of this scene. What I can do is go to replace layout in the top right corner, and then I'll get to see the entire template and choose the one that I actually like to go with, which could be this one right here. Let's say it is this one, or actually this one, that's pretty cool. Click on replace scene, and that way that one gets inserted. This one is a video in the background, so I can select the video. Then once again, I can go to replace video, and then I can choose any image or video, as well as upload my own media in case I want to. I'd love to have a video from the Dubai Mall inserted right here. So I search for Dubai Mall, I found this video, I click on it, and that then gets inserted into the scene. Now for this background, I don't really like it. So I'll select it, click right here, and then I can change it to any color that I want. However, be aware, once you do that, it will change for the entire video, which in my case, I actually like. This branding is much better in my opinion. You can also choose a gradient color, which usually fits pretty nicely as well. Once again, click change all in case you'd like to do that. And what I like about Synthesia is that you can add gestures to the AI. So the way that works is that you can click on gesture right here, and then you can either make the AI character nod, you can make their head move up by saying yes, basically. You can make it say no by doing this, or you can even move the eyebrows up. Now that right there is pretty cool. I have not seen that feature on any of the other AI video makers. So the way you do that is first of all, by selecting where you like to get it done. So instead of having it here, I'm gonna click on cut. And instead I wanna add a gesture here. So I'm gonna select this part, then click gesture. And then I'm gonna select eyebrows up, which it will now do at this moment of the scene. And the same goes with the other stuff. So you can make it pause, you can change the pronunciation by clicking right here on diction, or you can add a marker anywhere in the text to do a transition, which you can add to your video by clicking right here, simply enable this, click right here, and then choose the transition that you like to see. They pretty much have all the basic ones available. All that's left now is to add music, which once again, they have thought of, which you can find in the right hand side menu, music, simply click on this, and then you can choose from any song you'd like here. This will all be copyright free because you're using Shutterstock, which you get access to because you've got a subscription on Synthesia. So don't worry about that. You can search or either just browse through. Once you have found a song that you'd like to add, simply click add right here. And then as you can see, that gets inserted. Make sure that the volume is not set too high. I always like to go with around eight up to 10%. And then you can choose if you wanna loop the music or not. So I will actually loop it because this will be a short video. So that should be totally fine. All right, so our video about Dubai is now done. In order to download this, first of all, we must generate it. So click on generate in the top right corner. Choose your title, description, and whether you want to include captions or not. If you do, it's going to automatically caption your entire video. For now, I'm going to leave this away and click on generate. And there we go. It's now making our entire video. As soon as that is done, you can click on these three dots right here to then download your video. Additionally, you can also click translate and then translate that video into any other language you want so that you can crush multiple markets. I'm from the Netherlands, so I speak Dutch. So what I'm going to do is select Dutch right here and then click translate so that it will translate that video for me in my language. And it actually did that and it now looks like this. So obviously you guys probably don't speak Dutch so you cannot see. However, this is now the script in my language that is pretty accurate as well. So I can now render this video and have the same video in a different language within just two clicks, which is a pretty cool feature. Now I'll preview the final video result for you in a bit, but first of all, if you head over to the avatars, you can preview all of them, but you can also customize it so that you can always use that version for your brand. The way you do that is by clicking on create a new avatar, and then you wanna use the avatar builder, which is currently a beta version. Now, in case you'd like to turn yourself into an AI avatar, that is possible by clicking on the studio avatar option. Click upload videos, then follow these instructions, which is quite in depth, but that way you can clone yourself so that you've got your own AI character that actually looks like you, which is pretty cool. But for now, I'm gonna customize an avatar. So I'm gonna choose which one I would like to use in the future for my branded videos, which for me is gonna be Axel. So I'm gonna click on him, click customize, and then we're gonna get into the avatar builder, which is a brand new feature. First of all, we can give this look a name. I'm gonna call it Axel branded character. And then what I'm gonna do right now is first of all, pick a t-shirt color. So they've got a few palettes available. So if we wanna stick to corporate colors, I could go with this right here click apply, and then the color of his t-shirt will change. However, if I change the color of his sweater, you'll probably see it much more. So let's go with orange, click apply, it's gonna change. And then as you can see, this is what it looks like. So this way you can customize the character based on your needs. On top of that, you can add a logo to him. 
So you can either go with a logo that exists or you can upload your own logo. Now let's say that I work at Shopify and I'm making videos because I am Shopify. I can search for that logo. I can then insert it. And then as you can see, it will show up right here. You can make it bigger or smaller in case you'd like. Place it right here, place it right there, wherever you like. So I'm gonna place the Shopify logo right here. I'm gonna then click generate avatar. And what I will now do, it will save the customized avatar to my library so that in the future, when I will start making videos, I can choose the Excel branded character with the logo, with the different color uh, sweater in this case, as well as t-shirt to use in my videos, which as you can see now looks like this. With that being said, I think Symphysia is a pretty cool tool that has a lot of different use cases. So depending on what it is that you're trying to create, you can probably do it with Symphysia because throughout the years, they have built such a custom, well-developed drag and drop video builder. If you wanna try this out for yourself, I will leave a link in the description down below that you can use to get started and make a free video. First off, visionary leadership played a pivotal role. Dubai's rulers made strategic decisions to diversify away from oil long before the reserves were depleted. By investing in tourism, aviation, real estate, and finance, they laid a solid foundation for sustained growth. 